I'm a, I'm a rancher in northern Arizona. I, I'm here to support the Hammonds. Um, there's been a lot of words that have been said here. Um, I see some eyes that started to kind of glaze over a little bit. Maybe I can bring it down to a little more emotional level or, or a human level. Each one of you, each one of you here today are important. Individually, individually, each one of you are important. Not collectively, we're talking about you as an individual, as a, as a human being. The Hammond family are human beings. They're individuals. They have loved ones. They have children, grandchildren. You know, this is real. This affects real lives. And so that's why we're here today. And if our federal government would have abided by the Constitution, the supreme law of the land, we would have never have gotten here. And so let me just kind of come to a, a simple level of why this is so bad at the federal level. Our founding fathers had escaped from tyranny. They believed in freedom. And so when they set up our government, they separated the powers, didn't they? And we all know what they are, executive, legislative, and judicial branches. We know those three branches of power. Well, what has happened to one third of our land mass? Do you know that the federal government owns and controls one third of this nation? Let me put that in perspective. You need to put in the, the country of Germany, and put in France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, and better throw in Great Britain too, and then you're getting about the same land mass as what the federal government says that they own and control. And they say they have complete legislative power whatsoever. They have taken it to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has upheld it. Yes, they have complete power whatsoever over one third of this nation. Now, <clears throat> let me explain it simply as I can as I try to stumble over my words here. Is that for myself as a rancher, my ranch is in northern Arizona, a bureaucrat behind the desk can write a statute regarding me, my ranch. It has the force and effect of law. This bureaucrat is not accountable to me. We have not elected him there. Now, if I get contrary to that statute, there's a federal ranger with a gun that can enforce that. And if it goes from there, I am brought into a federal court. Neither the law enforcement, the federal ranger, has been elected by us, the people here. They are not under the power of the recall. Neither the bureaucrat that wrote the statute, neither the law enforcement that enforces it, and now I am hauled into a federal court. All three branches of power under one head with no representation. Did we not, as Americans, face this issue some 200 years ago? Don't we remember that phrase, taxation without representation? So now here we are, control without representation. One third of our landmass, it's an empire within our own country, unaccountable unelected. The real power is in the bureaucracies. And so uh, that's kind of the simple part of it. Uh, you know, it, it's about family. It's, you know, it's about my, my family. It's about the Hammond family. I've spoken to many ranchers in Utah, in Nevada, in Arizona. And they are all feeling this same thing. They're all feeling this oppression that is coming down upon them. Their livelihood is threatened, being taken away. Their, their Ranchers are being regulated out of business. And so this is real. These families are real. They're not trying to cause problems. They're food producers. They help make our country self-reliant, free, independent. Do you realize that you have to go back to about 1955 to get as low as a mother head count as we have right now in the United States? Have any of you ate a steak lately? Do you know the price of that? That goes way up. You know, if we had more demand, if we had more production, we would ship out more, we would feed more, we would be self-reliant as a country. These are good people. They produce, they add to our country, they do not take it away. I want to say one more thing about here, what we're doing. Every one of you that, that says, this is an occupation until their demands are met, you, you, you misunderstand. We're not making demands. <laughs> we're not making demands. We're here to work. These buildings here belong to Harney County. These are Harney County public lands, the state of Oregon. This is theirs. This is their land. This is their state. It's theirs. And so we've come here to work. We've not come here to sit as children and, and stamp our feet and demand that certain things are met. We're going to go to work. We're going to try to help restore these ranchers that have lost their ranches back to them. We're going to legally go to the records. We're going to search out these ranchers. Over 100 ranchers have lost their ranches here in this very area, in this very county, have been pushed off. 
We would like to see them return to the ranches, ranch again, log again, live again as free people. And so we're here to, to try to help that happen. We're going to go to work. We're not going to just sit down here and, and twiddle our thumbs. We've got a lot to do. And uh, I appreciate you being here. Um, I'm, just a, I'm just a simple hick. Um, and doing the best I can. And I love this country. I love my kids. I love my wife. I love my family. And if we lose freedom, what shall they do? I want my children to experience real freedom, breathe free air. And uh, thank you.